I told a friend I was heading to Portland, Oregon to check out the new Buick La Crosse. He said they should change the name. I said, of Portland? He said, no Buick, because it's been around for such a long time. Yeah, how about since 1899, before General Motors ever came to be? But I don't see that as a problem. I mean, in this day and age of cars with bland, alphanumeric nameplates, I would think to have a brand like Buick around that long would be a badge of honor. But you know, Buick has had this image of being for an older generation. Well, as I said, we're out here this week to check out the 2017 Buick La Crosse and to find out how and if General Motors can pay homage to the brand as well as appeal to a younger generation and see if they can convince you that, quote, this isn't the brand you think it is. First off, I'm 55 years old. Thanks for bringing that up <laughs> as of about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I've been with GM for 32 years and, uh, you know, from my side, the car, um, it's it's part of the heritage of Buick. You know, the cross is the, is the nameplate. I, I think in a lot of aspects, it's the flagship. As we develop the Buick brand and we move forward, I wanted this to be the segment leader. The biggest thing that you'll see with this car is just the beauty of the car, first off. It's just, it's a gorgeous car. Uh, the design center delivered to, uh, you know, what our expectations were from them. They've given us a car that's going to attract the customer in and it's going to get them to want to come to the dealership. It's going to give them to want to live in it because the interior is beautiful. I'm 36 years old and uh, I've been with GM for 11 years. I've been with the Buick design team for four years. Coming from different culture, I didn't have any stereotype about the Buick brand. And I know the heritage of the brand now and I really like the heritage of it. And not to say that the designer team of this Buick lacrosse project was I, I was probably the oldest guy in the team and it was very young and very international. So I think we did really a good job on how we improved the design. The Buick brand is very strong in Canada. We've uh, had a, a rich history with Buicks, uh, dating back to the McLaughlin Buicks of, uh, of the originator in, in Canada with, uh, with McLaughlin Buicks. Uh, one of the first cars built in Canada was a Buick, in fact. It's a full-size sedan. We still think there's a, a strong market in Canada for a full-size sedan, especially in something like a luxury car like a Buick. Uh, and so we're looking for forward to great things with the new LaCrosse. This new LaCrosse is longer, it's wider, and it's lower to the ground than its predecessor. But what General Motors is most proud of is that this new vehicle has also shed some weight. You say, well, 300 pounds, that's a 3,600 pound car. What does that mean? Well, 300 pounds is the, is the equivalent of a, of a Kenmore refrigerator, a side-by-side -side refrigerator. That's a lot of weight. So if, you, if you're going down the road and you say, well, if I threw a refrigerator in the back seat of my car, you know, how well would it break? How, how well would it accelerate? And is this car gonna feel nimble with 300 pounds sitting inside the back seat? No, not so much, right? So from a performance side, losing that weight, um, having an engine that's designed for start stop from day one. Three point six liter, eight speed automatic. Um, it's the same cylinder size that we had before, um, but we've improved the, the horsepower by just a little, like five horsepower. And the other thing we did is we refined the all-wheel drive system too. We put a dual clutch all-wheel drive system in. It's very seamless. It helps us put power in the corner on dry roads. So just enhancements in in every aspect of the car. You know, when you shed that kind of weight, it's also going to help out fuel economy and to help towards that cause, they also have stop-start technology as well as cylinder deactivation. Now, this is a six-cylinder. When you're cruising on the highway, cylinders two and five will shut down and you're basically driving a four-cylinder engine. But what GM really wanted was for this Buick to be the quietest in its segment. And to do that, it benchmarked a brand that knows a little bit about quiet and luxury. Yeah, it was the Lexus E350, but from a quietness perspective, honestly, we were the leader. And we knew that they were coming after us, and you know, if, if you're not in the lead, then you want to chase the leader, right? So we had to make sure that we were better. I used to have a guy that cut my hair, started cutting my hair when I was 12 years old. And he would tell me that, that, there's, that a, a beautiful car is like a beautiful woman. He says you can be sitting on a park bench and have a 10-year-old, a 40-year-old, and a 7-year-old. And when a beautiful woman or a beautiful car goes by, heads will turn. And I think we have a beautiful car. And, and, I, and I think bringing in younger customers isn't gonna be an issue with this car. They're gonna, they're gonna look at this car and understand 
that it, it's, it's a beautiful car both inside and out. So will the LaCrosse, as General Motors hopes, convince the younger generation that Buick is not the brand they thought it was? Well, the bottom line is, and the ironic thing is, most of the potential young customers have never driven a Buick. It's simply in the name. Well, all I can tell you is they've done a good job on this vehicle. There's no denying it's a good looking car. Great interior, lots of room, big trunk, connectivity, a super, super quiet ride, and the list goes on. But you know, General Motors Challenge, like a lot of other car makers, is simply getting bums in seats. And on that note, I can only suggest you put the LaCrosse on your shopping list. Who knows? If you try it, you might like it. I'm just saying.